Public REITs and private real estate are actually very complementary to one another, and it's not an either or, it's really an and. The people want to own both of these inside their real estate bucket of capital when they look at their entire portfolio. And in the one sense, they're both in the business of owning real estate, but the challenge with the public markets is that the real estate value might be very consistent, but the stock price around the real estate value might fluctuate radically because it's tied more to the stock market than it is to the underlying value of real estate. You don't get that same volatility in the private market because the private market is a mark to market where the price of the private opportunity will fully reflect the price of the underlying assets. So you get, by combining public and private together, you actually get a smoother portfolio. And I would also add that the reason to go into the public markets is somewhat different than going into the private markets. The public markets is about buying beta in the market. And beta, what that means is that you are buying fully stabilized assets that are just growing based on market forces. When you go into private vehicles, you're buying idiosyncratic risk. You're buying a strategy. You're buying a business plan that that manager is focusing on. And it could be that the manager is engaged in ground up hotel development. It could be that the manager is engaged in value added multifamily. And that is a much different strategy. You're buying privates to, to, to get alpha in your portfolio. And the reality is that those two strategies between the public markets being in beta and the private markets being more in alpha are not as correlated as one might think. But together, they make for a great marriage.